Why, hello there, I'm Cupid, welcome to my lovely channel, hope you guys are having an awesome motherfucking day. So, I ran into some awesome fans yesterday, and I just wanted to record their reaction. So, I met them in, I think it was Carrier was the map with all the planes on Black Ops 2, and I didn't say one word, I was on the other team, and they were just trying to figure out if it was the real Cupid or not, and it was, but I didn't tell them that. So, I invited them to the main lobby. And I was like, what's up, man? How's it going? How's it going? And then he's just like, it starts to escalate. Like, he's like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. But anyways, yeah, just watch it. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. Alright, so before I, I invite this guy, he was going crazy. Trying to figure out who I was, if I was the real Cupid or not. And I didn't say anything. I was on the other team and I didn't say a word. Um, so I'm gonna invite him right now and uh, see if he joins. So hopefully we get a pretty cool reaction from that. Uh, I think this is him. Let's uh, go ahead and invite him. I think he had a friend too. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I just don't. I think this was him. Oh shit. Ah, uh, shit. Hello? What's up, man? My god, dude. You gonna invite your friend? <laughs> He's not going to jump on him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry, right. I'm flipping out, dude. This is fucking epic as shit. Zooksy, dude, look who it is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I know oh my this God. is him because I just fucking looked at it. Q tips flirting <laughs> foreplay. Woohoo! <laughs> I looked at him. Freaking... <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my God. I'm watching it and I'm, I'm like, hold on, holy hold shit, on. it's him. Flexi, it's fucking quip it. Is it really in the fucking way? Dude, it is. I'm backing out of fucking. Oh What's up, man? No, no fucking way! <laughs> We're all flipping out. Yo, what the fuck? What the... Bro, like, what the Yo, fuck? What's going on? <laughs> oh, I gotta you should fucking record this. <laughs> I'm, gonna record this. I'm gonna record this. I'm gonna record this. Fuck that. Dude, where's my Elgato? <laughs> I'm gonna... Alright, hold up. Alright, I'm gonna hold up. Hold up. Oh damn, dude, I can't believe. You know, you're actually talking, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, that's so awesome. Oh my. Now I'm definitely talking to Angela. I'm like, I'm talking to the real. <laughs> I'm talking to the real. <laughs> Welcome back, you sexy stud muffin. <laughs> so, that clip gave me so much inspiration to, oh my gosh, to like get back into the YouTube mode and do all the stuff, you know? So, I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna make a few videos today just so I can have them ready for maybe like this upcoming week and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna be uploading on weekends because I know you guys like going out and like partying and stuff. And then like school days, like the weekdays, it's you know, it's harder to get through, so I'll make videos then. Anyways, thank you guys for giving me those reactions of, you know, giving me those, uh, like, motivational speeches, but it was really a reaction speech. I don't know if that made sense, but it made sense to me. So anyways, back to the commentary. Um, this is, as the topic says, how Quiddle and I turned a girl go lesbian. So, oh gosh, I'm so excited. I'm, like, rubbing my hands together. Yeah. Alright, so, let's just start out how Quiddle and I met. Now that's where it first all started. So this was when Black Ops 2 was first coming out and you know all the squeaker kids are out there they're like so like you guys want to like 1v1 quick scope and like get feeds with me because I'm so good and like you know like I, I just want to join phase one day. So like they're all like that and stuff and I was like oh gosh and you mute all of them but then Quiddle he's like what's up motherfuckers. Surprise, bitch. He's like, what's up? How's it going, Cupid? And then after I heard that, I was like, oh my god. Quiddle, if you're listening, turn down your volume. You have one of the most attractive voices. Not even gonna lie. If you heard Quiddle on Xbox Live, you'd understand what I'm saying. Like, 
Oh my gosh, Corlo. Like, it's like an angel talking. Like, if... Okay, who can, I, who can I compare you to? A fucking god. You should be a singer, dude. Or like one of those... One of those narrators for like babies. Because you could just put me to sleep, boo. I can't believe I just said that. I sound so gay. Okay, cool. You can turn on your volume again. So anyways, that's how we met. And then, um, I invited him. I was like, cool, we should play a lot more, dude. Like, you're really good. And then... In my head, I was thinking like, dude, I need to play with you more because all these other kids just squeak and you have the guy with like an attractive voice. And he didn't know that at the time until this commentary. So when he watches this, it's going to be really awkward when I play with him again. <laughs> oh man, maybe I should just delete this. Nah, fuck it. I'm already, I am already started. So besides the fact that Kodo had an attractive voice, voice, um... We started talking and playing a lot. We played like almost every day and it was only us two. So we talked about a lot of stuff. We talked about like our favorite foods, what kind of what kind of kids we want to have and <laughs> Oh god. No, and we talked about like girls, like normal guy stuff, like cars and all that and stuff. And then so we talked about girls we dated and then I thought Kudo lived in Canada. Not even going to joke with you Kudo. I thought you lived in Canada cuz you're so nice. So well, Canadian people, I think, are nice. Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways. Anyways. So, Kudo and I started talking about girls, and Kudo was like, Yo, yeah, I dated a girl named Sarah, but, like, she was kind of weird. And, like, yeah, I just I just couldn't do it, so I dumped her. And then I was like, wait. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that's, that's funny, Kudo. I dated a girl named Sarah, too, but she had nasty... Feet and I hate feet. Like feet are disgusting to me. So he was like, "Wait, yeah, dude, I dated this girl named Sarah, and she had a crooked toenail. Like her, um, it was like her pinky toe. It was like toward towards the left. I don't know. It was like hard to explain." And I was like, "Oh my god!" I was okay. My reaction. I just had I had dropped my controller, and I literally, literally, literally ran around my house like ten times, just jogging. Like my mind was just blowing. And I was like, oh my god, dude, I think we dated the same girl. And he's like, wait, where do you live? I was like, California. He's like, wait, me too. And then I was like, oh my god, dude, we dated the same girl. And then I was the last girl, guy who Sarah dated. I don't know if I'm supposed to say her name, but I did. And I think she turned lesbian after that. So, I mean, I got game. Just joking. Anyways, guys, this commentary is coming to an end. This gameplay is coming to an end. It lags out. And I was trying so hard to, like, Oh god, I was trying so hard to win. Not actually, but it just happened that I took the lead for the team. But anyways, if you enjoyed the commentary, please leave a like and a comment of your thoughts. Leaving likes don't I don't really care about the views. I just the likes just give me better thing. Just I don't know. Just like I, anyways, I'm Cupid. Oh, follow me on Twitter at the real Cupid. Anyways, I'm Cupid and I think I love you.